This really is a story about helping older adults live an abundant life, and that's one of the wonderful things about our mission is it's to give elders the opportunity to live an abundant life wherever they call home. The Pazmet community, we believe that aging is a gift and that life can be rich and rewarding at any age and with individuals living with dementia. And we had the wonderful opportunity to partner with Jennifer Brush, who introduced to us the pioneering principles of Dr. Maria Montessori and the Montessori philosophy and following the guidelines established by the association Montessori International for Montessori for Dementia and Aging. You may have heard about the Montessori approach for children. Students in Montessori schools learn in a multi-age community with freedom of movement and choice, exploring and learning at their own pace with hands-on materials. All of these elements apply beautifully to an adult care community. Montessori is a philosophy of life that gives older adults the opportunity to grow, engage, love, and most importantly, live. So how have we created a Montessori environment for elders? Jennifer would best be able to describe how we've made the Montessori philosophy come alive for elders at Pazavent. We've designed activities and materials that match each individual's cognitive abilities and their interests. So you'll see elders engaging in all aspects of daily life here at Pazavent. Some choose to arrange flowers, water the plants, tend the garden, fold laundry. These are roles and activities that have meaning and that have purpose. Jack and Emma worked our sanding and varnishing the windseeker to perfection. They can go to um, the area that they prefer to and uh, participate in folding or um, lacing. Go down and uh, prepare flowers for a vases. Do you ever have a flower garden? Oh, sure. You used to grow orchids, correct? Yeah. I I it has given my mom continued purpose in her life. She is living her life. And she's active and enjoying and engaged. It gives you a sense of peace knowing that your loved one, your mother, your father, whoever is here just is not just existing, but living their life to the fullest. We encourage our elders to be as independent as possible simply by having water set up on, this, on the table with glasses they can serve themselves get their own food, as well as help others who aren't able to do so. We have beverages and snacks always available 24-7 for our residents in our dining area. They're kept in the exact same location so that they can find them and they can help themselves at any time. That's pretty. Mm, look at that. Carrots and tomatoes. Peppers. Tomatoes. Oh, Montessori materials progress from simple to complex. Care partners offer choices and show by demonstrating. Visual aids are provided to allow elders with cognitive impairment to achieve success. Montessori materials have real uses and allow elders to contribute to their community. You're going to match the screw to the hole that it fits into and try to screw it in there for me? We call it the sports club, and it's where the men can go in and um, do, uh, there's golf balls, things with fishing, nuts and bolts, uh, there's sports things. Uh, I've made up a fashion corner with uh, the ladies where they can try on jewelry and hats, which la ladies enjoy very much. Activities and roles happen during the normal course of the day, just like they would if the person was living in their home. The result is a relaxed flow during which some people are doing activities on their own and other people may be working in small groups. Montessori isn't confined to a specific time of day. It's truly a way of life. Before, I had a lot of group activities. You know, a lot of them participated, but there were also some that would participate that really wasn't their interest. So when we started to implement the Montessori, the elders now enjoy uh, doing the, the materials and more things that they like on their time. 
You're gonna wash the whole plant, that's great. Get all the bugs and everything off of it, huh? <laughs> With the Montessori approach, it's fantastic because she's just a different person. And it happened immediately for my mom. I know it's not like that always for everybody, but for my mom, it was an immediate um, different person. She became the person that I remember my mom being because they've made this feel like it is her home. Once they realized what her niche was, which obviously is cleaning and <laughs> prepping and things like that, that is what they directed her towards. So she enjoys making her bed and making it perfect. All things that she loves to do. The household is organized and uncluttered. Everything has a place and is labeled. So on our household, we've added some brightly colored, high contrast signs, and those allow the residents to be invited to do an activity, maybe from a recreation standpoint, like lacing or doing three-part cards. It also invites them to be engaged in the life of the household so that they're actively a part of their day, that might be folding the laundry or setting the table. Passivent provides a prepared environment for older adults. Wayfinding cues such as signage and landmarks are provided for all destinations. All signage is designed with concrete imagery and maximized color contrast. One of the ways that we help the residents find their way around is there's a large photo of each one of them on their apartment door. This helps them to recognize themselves and find their way into their own room. And the wonderful thing about Abundant Life is that it is truly unique for each individual. So what's Abundant Life for me isn't going to be what's Abundant Life for somebody else. And the, the starting point for that really is about relationship and to get to know them as a person. And when we do that, then we're better able to equip them to be engaged fully in their life. We encourage persons to bring their things from home because this is their home. In our rooms that our residents reside in, their space has to reflect their journey. So you bring to your new home things that you've had when you're packing up, you bring them here. Your favorite lamp or your favorite dresser or your favorite pictures and photographs of your family. Those are all important because they can identify that with who they are. With memory loss, sometimes we can't easily retrieve the name. And when we have the name tags right there in a, in a color that helps us um, see them easily, we can begin a relationship. Hi, Hi Sherwood, how are you doing? Oh, fine. <laughs> what are you doing now? Um, I'm going to lunch. <laughs> they got name tags for all of the, the residents because earlier nobody talked by name to everybody around the table. They didn't know their names or couldn't remember. And so with the name tags, you know, they, they would say, hi, Bill. We would talk by first names, which made, it, which made it very nice. Family members also assist us in creating a memory book for every elder in the community. Memory books serve as an important reference tool for elders, as well as a conversation starter for care partners and visitors. Oh, there I am. In CB. CB's in the... Navy. In the Navy. I see, you must have been very good, you and Bill. It's amazing to see how the elders enjoy their memory books. The changes have always been for the better, but this change is a change that, that creates a light in some of our elders and, and makes them feel as if they're, they're living again. I think it's given them a sense of peace because this disease is horrible but it's allowing them instead of sitting all day or working and being frustrated and fearful it just gives them again that purpose back it was a pleasure to come into a household where you see the participants smiling and engaging in all of the activities and thoroughly enjoying life they are truly engaged in the program and they just they love it and Every day they'll ask you what they can do to help. So it makes them feel like they have a purpose. And that is, it is a real, real comfort to a family member to see someone who, even though has stages of dementia and continues to progress, is still living her life. And it is, it's the purpose that is all, is 
the most meaningful to me. We believe in empowering people to live an abundant life. The Montessori philosophy helps us all to live our lives to the fullest extent possible.